The upcoming flight for MCC scheduling has been mixed around a little bit. We have a new proposed date for when that flight will come out, as well as another map that's going to be added in the Halo 3 for this flight. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe guys, keep yourself up to date. So let's get right into the video here. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little MCC development update, just kind of showcasing everything that's going to be coming around for Halo. This one, we're talking about a new playlist rotation coming in for the MCC, some flighting updates and the content that's going to be in that flight, as well as some details when it comes to some more maps that are going to be added in to this flight for Halo 3. Let's get right into all the content. So one of the first things that they talk about in this development update is a rotational of a playlist. We've had some hardcore playlists kind of get moved out recently. Now, within the last month, we had Halo Reach Team Hardcore come in. I've been actually been playing that a bit and I've actually been able to find games again. So maybe this rotational playlist thing kind of actually works to get people to play the playlist. That's going to be rotating out very soon, actually next week. Coming up on Wednesday, they're going to rotate out Halo Reach and rotate in Halo 2 Anniversary Hardcore. Actually, one of my also one of my favorite hardcore playlists. So I'm definitely looking forward to play that. Hopefully it boosts up a little bit of a playlist population. And so then more people get a chance to jump in and play H2A Team Hardcore. It seemed to work with Halo Reach. So hopefully this works with H2A. And now for the juicy part, the February flighting update that we have coming for us, guys. And then the update, they talk about it a little bit right here, saying there are a handful right here of Ring 3 blockers, bugs preventing public flighting that are present. We are going to give this month's flight another week of development prior to getting it out in front of everyone. Continuing on, they actually also mentioned they mentioned they made a minor shift in timing before it comes to the content and when it comes into the flight. So it sounds like just me like a mid patch kind of mid flight kind of thing be happening with this. But they did also mention that if everything goes well for ring one and two, which you know that was the original case. So this date is subject to change. But they do say if everything goes well, we can expect flighting to happen on Thursday, February 25th. And so the content that's going to be in this flight is going to be changed up a little bit, like we mentioned earlier. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But in the current setup is for when the flight currently first launches, we'll have season six content, two new maps for Halo 3 with Edge and Waterfall. We'll get into those maps later in this video. FOV slider support for Xbox One console. FOV slider will no longer be locked when Xbox Series X and S devices are set to 120 hertz. Double keybinds, mouse and keyboard support for consoles, advanced audio options, and weapon display offsets for view model positions, customization options. As in being able to place your weapon how you like it to be placed on their screen. Now you might be thinking, okay, you forgot to mention one specific thing, the custom game browser. And that's actually kind of, I think, the main thing that's holding this flight back. But they mentioned here specifically that later on, is they planned an update content for a week or two after the flight starts saying they'll bring in the custom game browser and then additional bug fixes on top of that as well. So I'm glad to see that 343 is willing to take the time to delay the flight to make sure that the content that they give people to play around with in this early build will be rather playable and something they can actually get some good data off of. Even though the custom game browser is most likely coming in the next week after the initial flight date, though we can still expect to see plenty of content coming in, especially since we have season six content in and now two new maps from Halo Online Green Brian to Halo 3. Now you heard me mention the map Edge. Yeah, this is a specific map that's been just for Halo Online for the longest time, but now they're bringing this into Halo 3. And this is a screenshot of what it looks like right here. I would show you gameplay, but currently with Halo Online content, there is a bit of a gray area that could be kind of iffy with it. And I don't want to risk my channel in any way or form. I'll just wait, you know, a couple more days and be able to showcase it to you guys live. I definitely will do like a map walkthrough and playthrough of Edge and Waterfall, which we'll show next in this video about where the weapon spawns are, how the map plays out. But this map is definitely an interesting choice to bring into Halo 3 because this kind of has like that more, this map has more of a traditional kind of Halo 4, Halo 5 kind of map design to it as it has much more elongated uh, lines of sight because Halo Online was initially going to have sprint in the game. El Dorito made it so that you can have sprint some playlists, some you can't. Uh, play, I've played this map with sprint and without sprint and without sprint actually with this map it makes it a bit of a kind of a slow drag to play 
this could be possibly like a BTB map. That's how big this map is. Again, like I, we'll do a showcase as soon as we have the content available for us. But this map looks awesome. It actually plays out rather well. I'm very excited to get a chance to play with this. You can see this is like the outer left edge platform. This is like the center platform right here in the middle, if you can see my mouse. And on the other side of that, it's kind of like the right lane. So it's kind of a traditional like three lane format that we've had in a lot of multiplayer games. So there are a lot of long lines of sight with this game. I can expect to see a lot of corridor kind of doorway battles happening with classic Halo 3 gameplay. Put into the more modernized version of Halo 3 that was in Halo Online. Again, we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. The other map that got a chance to showcase was another screenshot from Waterfall. If you guys remember Waterfall, this is the initial screenshot right here we got a chance to see. This map has never been played in Halo 3 ever. This is a cut content map from Halo Online that was never actually implemented into El Dorito. But looking into the game files, it's definitely there. And apparently it's playable in some capacity. And so 3 for 3 is making this never before seen map in Halo and putting it into Halo 3, which is pretty dang awesome. This map does look pretty large as well. Uh, it could, depending on the sizing of things, it could be a 4v4 or possibly a BTB map. Again, we had never had a chance to play this map. Uh, though you can see there are just a lot of different kind of angles and sections to go through to kind of, you know, play around with this. It's called Waterfall because the initial concept art had a waterfall kind of dam look to the whole thing. Obviously, everything's completely frozen in here, but you can see that this is the new screenshot right here. Here's a Spartan here for scale, if you can see on the screen. This could be more of a... 4v4 style map that we could be coming across here in Halo 3. Though I'm very excited to get a chance to play some brand new map we've never seen before in Halo. I guarantee I'll be doing a walkthrough, a guide on how to play this map, where the weapon spawns are, and also the different kinds of lines of sight and different power positions to hold for Waterfall and Edge as well. They also specifically mentioned if you guys want to sign up, you still have a chance to sign up for the Halo Insider. So definitely do that now. Uh, leave a link in the description down below to this dev update, which has a link to the Halo Insider or just Google search Halo Insider. Go in there, sign up and have your chance to be, have your name drawn essentially for the flight. Uh, if you Or if you've already been in a flight and possibly have updated your hardware, say you've got a new PC parts or a new Xbox like the Series X or S, you gotta update your profile there as well. So 343 can get the correct data for you to possibly get a better chance to be in this flight. So fingers crossed that February 25th is the actual day for this flight. I'll let you guys know as soon as we have a chance to have this flight go live, I will make a video to let you know when that happens. If you like these kind of news and informational videos and be on the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.